Okay, so we're going to look today at OCR learning outcome number one, mainly for the design cycle of things. So that's what the main thing is that we're looking at today. So the first phase is identify. So within this bracket, we've got various things. We've got the brief, which is the opening statement around what we are designing and why. Research, ways in which we can research information regarding the brief and the process planning. How can we plan the process of designing and making? First of all, though, when we're writing a brief, we've got to understand the identification of design needs. So this might give you some information around about the situation and context that has led to the brief. So I'll give you an example of if we are designing a games control system for someone with arthritis, the needs of that client are going to be very different to a normal games controller. Same as the purpose of the product and how it functions, it's going to function in a very different way. So it might be designed to be more soft touch, it might have bigger triggers, it might have them positioned in a different place. Information that informs a design brief. Now this is essentially linking back to your researching sections. So ways in which we can research, maybe focus groups, surveys, changing customer trends. And ways we can do that is we can look at strengths and weaknesses of competitors' products. So we could do a product analysis on those products looking into Access FM and then finding out what the good and the bad things are about them and then integrating those into our products. If there's any improved materials or manufacturing processes that we could use to make the product, that would also be beneficial for us. The second stage of the cycle is design. So we figure out what we've designed and what we need to research and we've got some information. Now we're using that information to design our product. So we start off with, first of all, a specification. Now what a specification is, is a list of specific products, specific things around our product. So it might be the aesthetics of the design must be this, the function of the design must be that, the cost must fit in the range between 30 and 50 pounds. So it's specific product, specific components that our product must meet. Now when we design, there's various ways we can do that. We normally start off with initial designs, so that's your concept sketches, looking at different ideas. Then we would develop a few of them, and then finally, you would come up with your final design, which hopefully is the best out of the lot. Manufacturing planning, this is where you do your production plans. So hopefully planning out how you're going to make your design, how you're going to plan that production. Optimise, this is where we're starting to look into modelling, and prototyping your design. So there's a reason we can model, there's a reason we prototype. First of all, it's cost effective. We can see if the design works. We can also see how it functions. And if there's anything that needs to be changed, we're gonna save money at that time um, on the final thing. We can prototype in different ways. We can model in different ways. You could do it through card modeling. You could do it through your CAD. You could do it through 3D printing, etc. Error proofing is essentially making sure that the design works as intended. So if you think of a USB, for example, there's only one way that can be put into a computer. Same as a plug, it can only insert one way into the wall. It's been proof error. It only works in one specific way. Finally, validate. Okay, So we're looking at ways in which we can test our product and ways in which we can evaluate. So we can link it back to the client, we can link it back to some product testing. We could test and evaluate it against the specification, okay? Now, I think the main thing that you need to understand is this cycle. Exam questions will come up with, identify, name the sections in that, or optimize. You need to understand what each of these sections is, how they work, and also what information regarding them you need to learn. Okay, so that's OCR, learning outcome one, design cycle.